Hello everyone, uh, Steven here, the president of PMDK, also known as the Dynamic and Creative Mind Association. Uh, first of all, I would uh, like to thank the ASL Expand Club for uh, choosing us to be the beneficiaries for this wonderful uh, Global Game Changers uh, Summit. Thank you so much uh, for that. And I'm here for a while to just share with you, uh, all the audience here, a little bit about like uh, how when I change my environment, that leads to a lot of uh, positive impact and that that uh, actually started from a community, like impact a community to a nationwide impact. So I think all of us know how important an environment is. It plays a huge role in uh, wherever we are, in whatever that we do. I think all of you guys have personally experienced this. And uh, this is my story a little bit. So if we want to know about my environment, I have to bring you to a little bit of flashback into my story of uh, how I was when I was growing up, what is my environment like? So um, growing up as a young boy, I, I lived in a very uh, little village uh, in Malaysia here. And uh, the place is okay, you know, everybody know each another. It's a very calm and nice environment. I think those of you who have lived in the village, you know how the place is and everything. So it's a nice place. and all I know is school, come back to my uh, home and the people around there. That's your environment. That's that's where I am from. That's the people I know. I don't really know what's happening outside of that place, outside of the school. And, you know, just around there, hanging around and everything. So I lived there for like 10 years. And when, I, my, when I'm 11 years old, we moved my entire family, moved to a city. And to be really, really honest, I was super excited about this because uh, last time back when we were in our villages, we uh, even for us to get a public transport or to go to a different place we have to walk miles and miles and miles to get a um to get a taxi so me and my mother i remember we actually we will walk and we will go to a to a big highway it's a big road and we have to cross the road in order for us to actually read the other side and we can get a taxi to go to a destination that we wanted so uh that that's our life before that but now living in that city area uh, it's a huge difference because the public transportation will come right to your doorstep and whatever that we need from grocery stores to clinic to hospitals to malls or to theaters everything is just around there in walking distance and i was super excited even my school is walking distance so i i remember how excited we were in in, in terms of like you know everything is there we are now settled and everything until I realized the environment of that place. You know, from, from 10 years old, boy, uh, you know, from 10, 11 years old, you don't really know much is happening. You just have fun. But especially when you move into your teenage years, you start to think, you started to see things a bit clearly. So uh, I really look at what's happening around the environment that I'm in at that point of time. And I realized the place that we are living in right now, the city, that, that particular place, it's a very, very, very bad environment. So whatever that coming to your mind right now, when I say I live in a very bad environment, that's it, everything is happening there. And imagine I'm a teenager who is like 14, 15 uh, years old there, and you are living in that kind of environment. And again, we all know how important an uh, environment is, is influence you. And hear me, a naive boy who is just hanging around there and my, my friends and everything. Uh, and it's very easy for us to get influenced into this kind of environment because it looks flashy, it looks amazing, you know, they have bikes, they have cars, a lot of good things is happening there, they make money, and it looked like a very big thing for you at that kind of age, and you wanted that, I, I wanted that. But I, for me, right, at that point of time, for some reason, I was thinking maybe that's not the right way to do it, and living in that kind of environment, there is only two options for me that was available right in front of me. One is either I go into the negative things, involved in there, do whatever that they are doing there and everything. Or second is to actually study better and make my name out of it. Like, you know, study better, score a better result, go out there, graduate, get a job, build your dream house, get a car, get married, build a family, all these things. So obviously I choose the option B, which is to study well and do something about it. So studying is not really a big deal for me. I, I can actually score well. I don't know why. Even though I don't study much, I can score really well. So I go on to graduate uh, from a college. I, I, I graduate in Bachelor of Commerce in a wonderful college uh, in accounting field, actually, because I fell in love with accounting when I was in my uh, secondary school, which is high school. And I went out to pursue it into my, uh, as my degree and everything. So it's a huge deal in my family and also in the neighborhood because none of 
uh, none of nobody in my family actually have graduated before so it's like a huge deal and even in the environment also is a huge deal oh my god a boy from this base actually graduated and stuff so after i graduated i went on to uh, you know when you were studying and graduating and everything i built a dream about like you know you're getting a good job you're studying you know you are you have your own office you're in your own cubicle you know you are the best company in the world doing amazing things all these things right so actually i uh, get to taste a little bit of that through my internship in during my college years so when i went to the internship in one of the biggest company in the world in the accounting field and i went to what three months of internship i realized that is not what i want this is not who i am i cannot survive in this i need something else i am a very extroverted person i love to talk to people this is not who i am and that's when when i come out from the internship i started to really feel very depressed i don't know what else to do because imagine this you have a goal you have a dream and this is what you have been telling yourself i want to do this i want to do that and everything right and once you almost achieve it you are there you realize that's not what you want how do you feel so that's that's how i felt like i don't know what else to do i don't know where am i going i don't know what is the next step and imagine at living in that kind of environment in the situation that i'm in right now again is super duper easy to influence in that kind of environment so i was i was almost there and that's when i decided to go and meet one of my tuition sir is a very interesting man i really like this guy a lot so we went to just met him and to get some advice to see what we can do and when he need when he understand that i needed help he said okay let me bring you to this wonderful environment that i am part of let's see whether you like it so that's when i actually met this beautiful platform called et ideas a social business incubator platform back in malaysia and also ascendance an international youth movement as well so when i met these wonderful people right uh, i instantly fell in love with the environment because this is something that i never experienced before like when i was in my village i just you know kampung a uh, village boy don't know what else am i doing and when i'm in the, in the different environment move to a city the environment there is totally different and but this environment that they have is something so addictive like addictive like um you know everybody there is happy they are doing what they love to do as their passion as their career uh, you know as their business i'm i'm just very stunned how happy they can be they they all are very happy doing what they love to do and i want something like that for myself i i want that to be my environment so because of that i will do whatever that i can to be in that environment i go to my college and even i will just check with them where they are working i will just go there be with them even though i have nothing to do there i will just go and sit with them because i really wanted to be in that environment to change myself and and i really engaged their services i i i went inside there i tried to figure out my passion and i have did a lot of funny stuff to actually figure out my passion like uh, i i did mcing because i love talking to people and uh, i love playing chess and i even tried teaching kids how to play chess i love eating cookies so i tried baking and i tried meeting a lot of people i did so many things uh, to figure out my passion and at the end i actually did figure out my passion with the guidance and support from this particular environment and to be really honest I, I, at, at one point of time i made it i become i figured out that i i like marketing and sales and i built my career over there and i become really good at marketing and sales and i started to teach people on how they can improve their marketing improve their sales and i was really happy doing that but for when i look back at my environment and my story right i'm even though i am from a bad environment i don't know what am i doing and stuff like that i'm actually pretty lucky because i met the right people at the right amount at the right time when i needed the help like for example the tuition sir when i need the example and i think i'm showing you the two pictures the first picture is one of my sponsor who are there since i was 12 years old to give me some advices he's one of the main person that stopped me from going and involving in this kind of environment and then i met my wonderful uh, mentors ms walsla and ilanko and etiis people everybody have guided me to do something about it but this is not the case for a lot of youngsters out there many people out there they don't know like many youngsters out there they don't know that they can do a lot of things they don't know they can follow their passion they don't know they can build their career out of it and uh, they just clueless especially people in who live in village or rural areas they don't have access to this kind of place 
And that's when I decided to go and tell about this platform that we have, the things that we can they can do to every single one of them. I, I remember I was I stopped random people, I will tell them about the story. And in my early stages of doing this, I, I went to orphanages to share about uh, share with the youngsters they can do this. I went to the schools that we can went in and to do all kinds of things. Whatever that we can, I will just go inside there, try to talk with the students sharing with them how they can also build their career how they can also find their passion which eventually lead for me to you know lead to me be, uh, you know work very closely with ascendance and eventually i become the president of pmdk and ngo back here in malaysia and uh with when once we partner with ascendance we went to do projects and things in a bigger scale where we go out there and share about what we do in in nationwide in all across malaysia Literally in the past few months, I have went to all the states in Malaysia, meeting hundreds and thousands of students, talking to them, sharing with them about what they can do. And something interesting happened when you meet this kind of youngsters because they don't know what they can do, what they want to do. They don't understand anything. But when you actually met these people and share with them that, hey, you can do this, you have a passion for this, you can make, make a career out of it. Not only that, you actually bring together a people who have successfully made a career out of in that field and show them that, hey, you look at this, you have a passion for this, this person actually have made a career out of it. You need to see the sparkle in their eyes when, when you share them, share that with them, like they will be so happy because uh, all the while they don't know they can do many things but now we're coming here and telling them hey you can follow your passion you can build a career out of it they have they have the belief but then when they see another youngsters who have successfully made that into a career they strongly believe that they also can do that and they go out there start taking the actions and because of that we have been going all across malaysia meeting wonderful students and also wonderful teachers when we uh it's one of the best things that happened to me in this uh, past few months is going out there and meeting wonderful teachers who are just there doing amazing things for the uh, students. They don't care if they have extra jobs. They don't care if uh, anything happens. They just wanted to impact the students. That's all they think about. And we get to meet a lot of these wonderful students, uh, wonderful teachers and students, giving them the opportunity and platform and resources and the guidance that they needed for them to actually strive and become a better person. So this is a little bit about my story on how, as you can see, this is not possible if I didn't change my environment. Uh, I didn't start to look at the different things that I want to do in my life. And I think my mentors uh, told me this once, you are not a tree. You can actually move around and find a different place. If you feel like you don't, you are not in the right environment, we can actually go ahead and find the environment. Back when, when I was a youngster, I don't know that this kind of environment existed. But good thing that happened to me is, again, I met the right type of people and at the right amount of time, and they guided me in what I can do in, uh, in figuring out my passion. So this is what we are trying to give to the students, uh, to everybody out there. That is why I, when I changed my environment, when I look back at it, it started from a small community-wide impact. Now it's becoming a nationwide impact. And the goal for PMDK is to go international, meet students from all across the world and change everyone, share with them that they can do wonders and help them to do it. That is what we wanted to do here. And if you're watching this and you wanted to work together with us and you are, you know, a educator, you know, a wonderful teacher or an educator who wanted to do amazing things for students, come and talk to us or let me know how to contact you and I will contact you and see what we can uh, do to work together on this. And once again, thank you so much for uh, ASL Expand for choosing us to be one of the official, uh, choosing us to be the beneficiaries uh, for this particular particular summit. And for all of you, all of you who are watching this right now, please go ahead and visit our fundraising page. Uh, this summit is not only for you to gain your knowledge and you know meet a lot of wonderful people. It also works as a fundraising campaign where we uh, act, the funds that we're raising from this is be used to guide this kind of youngsters used to channel back the funds to give a platform for these youngsters from rural area from all the youngsters actually so the link for the description uh, the link for the some the fundraising page is available in the description please go and check it out have a look at it and see what you can do to be part of this environment so thank you very much guys